You know, these idiots are still here speaking about the victory of President Trump. I wanted to reach out to you this evening and to answer the call of you all's beloved Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Dr. 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 Roosevelt Skerritt, and to let you know that the Prime Minister, like myself, whom I've called for the doubling of the population of the African people in the United States of America, which can only be achieved for a high rate of intercourse and pregnancy and the acceleration of the rate of baby mammas, I wish to announce to you that it's me, your village ram. I am ready to breed at my great age. I am at a great age now. I am very fertile. And if you could assemble a bunch of heifers, then I will serve as the village ram to impregnate and to fertilize the eggs. I believe that is important. I believe that we must focus. And you see these men who are out here, these irresponsible men, I want to castrate them. You're going to intercourse a woman and fertilize her and not even take the time to take care of your offspring. You see, I come now strong as a bull. You only need one bull, you know, one bull, one ram to take care of the whole flock. And I am ready. So long as you have your AIDS test, you have your COVID test, you have your gonorrhea test, you have your syphilis test, you have your uh, whatever that other disease is test that does go undetected. What is it called? Oh, shit, I can't remember. But listen, I would love to intercourse you and to get you pregnant, and then I'll go work hard to make sure we have enough food and clothing and housing for all of our children, all of the tribe. I want to be a father of a tribe, the way Ibrahim, the way Moses, the way all of them was a father of a tribe. Lord God Jesus, Lord God Almighty, Satan our Father, give me the strength and give me the Viagra. <laughs> give me the Viagra. Do I have the Viagra? I will perform, and you are coming. You will never say you are unsatisfied, because I am the village ram. Pope Peter Emmanuel commits. He says to Prime Minister, Dr. 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 Roosevelt Skerritt, set up a, a breeding farm and get the heifers there, and I will come, and I will inseminate, or is that ejaculate, or I will plow them, and I will fertilize them, and we will rebuild our population. We have to do it in the United States. I'm calling for baby mamas and for the protection of baby mamas because baby mamas are the children of the Lord. Mary, the mother of Christ Jesus, she is and will always remain a baby mama. God bless my mother, who is a baby mama. And come thou forth, ye who at the heifers, and let me make you a baby mama. God bless you, and I bless you. Mm. See those lovely lips? Mm. My friend always call me and tell me I have this penis sucking lips. I mean, this guy is so fucking insulted, you know, but he's my friend, and he loves me. And I care about him. He's, we've been together for over 30 something years. Yes, uh, on, good e on this evening, right? I would like to take an opportunity to address and to counter address the right honorable Dr. 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 Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt of the, of the artificial nation island state of the Commonwealth Republic of Dominica. I happen, as an incident of my birth, to have been born on that island in the village of Massac, a place where everyone on the island looks down upon and where I was discriminated against for being from. On today, I want to address the Prime Minister's call 
and in his acknowledgement that there are not enough people on the island, something that I have long concluded, something that I have long advocated. Similarly, as I'm advocating here in the United States of America, we have 40 million African people, and we have to double our population if we need to maintain our quantitative edge and our influential edge. And I have called on the people of the United States of America, the African people, the young women and the young men, and forget the young men, if they don't want to participate, forget them. But it is the women, the baby mamas, because you see, my own mother is a baby mama, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, is a baby mama. Okay, so I say that in order for us to grow a public relation, we need to have more baby mamas. But before I get into how we do this, I want to tell the Prime Minister this, that you and your government and the Dominican Labor Party and your leadership have overseen the, you have been in power for a generation. That means a whole generation has grown up under you. And let me tell you this, let me tell you this. Even before I was born and when I was born and when I was a child, the first thing I learned is about our ancestors who went to Panama to work in the Panama Canal. We have relatives who went to Cuba to cut sugar cane. So it's like every generation on that island and all the other islands, people are born to grow up to fantasize the dream of when they're gonna live. Everybody's thinking of who's going to send for me in Canada. The women are thinking what man will marry me and get me a green card. How can I get to Canada and overstay and eventually get to be a legal resident there? No one is thinking of how and how can I stay and live a prosperous life on the island of Dominica. That is a fallacy. And even you with your so-called arrogance and think you are so great a leader and that your ass need to be kissed and your pity need to be affiliated, and you have people coming to you begging for money, and I am told that you are not, you claim to give scholarships and a degree in every household, but you don't have no ideological program. You are just giving scholarships and degrees based on favors, sexual and political and otherwise. You understand? So you're not even a man of character, a man of ideology, a man of a program. And you're going to come out and tell people to go and cocaine and make children. And just, who do you, who you think you are? Are you the Mac Daddy? Are you the Super Pimp? Are you going to buy the Pampers? Are you going to buy the Similac? Or the Cadillac? Or the Lactogen? So the baby mama can feed the children? No, you're not. No, Mr. Long-Legged Mac Daddy. Mr. Giveaway Scholarship to people. Mr. Who, you have to come and, 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 and tickle his little tolly to get your check signed. <laughs> ay, 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 guess so you don't know what you're saying and what you're doing. But Scarrot, you've gone mad, man. Scarrot, you've gone mad telling people to go and have children. When people struggle in, don't you know how struggle people are struggling in the world, Mr. Prime Minister? Now, Mr. Prime Minister, I come to you to offer my services, okay? Because I am the village ram. And at my tender young age of 57, I'm very virile, very fertile. And I'm a raging bull, strong like a bull, man. I'm like a bull. I mean, if you put me in a breeding pen with 20 heifers, I will cross all 20 of them in one session with enough semen to inseminate each one of them. They just have all to be ovulating at the same time. So what I'm saying is, I agree with you we need more people, not just in the island of Dominica. We need more people globally because we are under and in a state of war, a state of genocide, and the races of the world are looking to destroy us and to diminish us. And in some places, the pressure is so hard, we have to go and intercourse Europeans to whiten the race so we can protect it and allow it to survive. Thus evolving into a new race. So eventually there will be no pure Africans. They will be all be bastardized. You understand me? Yes. 
The same way your wife is a mulatto, part of a bastardized race, the cross between the European and the Negro. And you yourself being a darker skinned Negro, you want that light skinned woman so you can have a light skinned child. I know about the psychology in your mind, Mr. Prime Minister. And now you're calling for people to go on cocaine and have children. Who's going to pay for it? You don't give them L handouts or you give them houses to destroy. You send them to get scholarships. They don't know what, they, what they're studying. And what they're studying can do nothing to create jobs or industries on the island. You have doctors, but you have more sick people than ever. You don't even have a single specialist on your island, but you send all these people to Cuba to study. Well, here's what I want to tell you. I agree with the population growth program. How they get fed, they get fed. Let that, you Minister of Finance, you the Mac Daddy, you organize it. You set up a breeding farm. I suggest that we have a breeding farm where you gather up heifers, heifers, young, sturdy, mature, ripe women of age from 18 to 25. That's how I like them. 18 to 25, age of consent, strong body, beautiful breasts, firm, you know, lifting up kind of breasts, you know, which old man wants some old woman? I don't want no old woman. I want a young, nice, firm thing that is fertile, that when one drop of sperm hit her, her egg will be fertilized. I go to fertilize. And guess what? I walk with my Viagra all the time. So if you're serious about population growth, right, this is the message of the village ram to the honorable, the right honorable doctor, 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 Roosevelt Skerritt, from the right honorable Pope Peter, Peter Emmanuel the first the voodoo master and the witch doctor, the village ram. I know you need help. You asked for help. You went on the television. You went before the nation and you asked the world for help. And I'm the only one who is strong enough, bold enough, proud enough, strong like a bull to make a reciprocal video message and to send it to you via the airwaves of this modern day technology to tell you, my brother and dear leader, Dr. Dr. Skerritt, I answer your call. I answer your call. I come willingly to be the village ram, to be the bull, to be the bull. I will be the bull. I want to be the bull. And I will cross those heifers for you 20 at a time. 20 at a time. You need population growth. Let me give you population growth. Here in the United States of America, I am calling on the heifers. I am calling the baby mamas. I am saying, come on, let us make some more children so we can have more votes, so we can have more influence in the United States of America. The Hispanics have outpassed us. 40 million African people is not enough. It's time to cocaine. It's time to inseminate. It's time to fertilize. It's time to sow a seed and it's a time to multiply. My dear brother, prime minister, my dear leader, we could disagree on everything else, but we agree on this one thing, the need to procreate. And in that, I would like to volunteer to be your soul day, your soul day of sowing a seed, your soul day of plowing, your soul day of what I call, not insemination, fertilization, fertilization. I want to be the fertilizer, the plower and the fertilizer. And if you will make me that opportunity, I will serve you for the rest of my life. I tell you, set it up. In Roseau, you set up a breeding pen. You get them young girls, get a couple from Marigot, get some from Wesley, get some from La Plain, get some from Grand Bay. You know, the young, strong ones. They've been carrying the bananas. They've been carrying the breadfruit. They've been carrying the plantains. They've been helping their parents in the garden, but they want to get away. And listen, guess what? I can get the money. I can get the money to look after the children. And, and, and we can have so many of them. And they're all going to look like me just running over. I mean, dude, can you imagine? 
Can you imagine if you set it up a clinic, clinic of fertilization for the preservation and the advancement of our society, society advancement program, whatever you want to call it, and the village ram, the village ram, the village bull, you bring him in, he's an old man. You see, my sperms, right, have the experience of everything I've done in life. So anyone who uh, I father a child by, that child is going to come out extra intelligent. That is the genius gene. We're going to pass the genius gene on. And if we mix that genius gene with different varieties of women, we'll get different aspects of it. So I'm saying to you, I agree with you. And if you're a real leader, if you're a serious man, you would call me out on this one. You would take my offer. And I'm not the only man capable. There are other men out there too, but I am the first one to volunteer. And I'll be the first one to do to, to, to the test program. And if these other men want to come, they can come. But I know there are lots of women out there who will volunteer and who want to support the nation and to make the nation strong. So let us go forward. And I agree with you, dear leader. I support you in that cause. I want to be the village ram. I want to be the one to inseminate and to fertilize these heifers and to turn them into cows so that we can grow a population in Dominica, we can grow it in the United States, we can hold, grow it here, we can grow it there, and we can grow it everywhere. So I call upon you, my dear leader, 214-394-7864, that's my phone number, 214-394-7864. You know my email, tlfg at comcast.net, tlfg at comcast.net. Hit me up or give my number and my email to your heifers. Tell them I have money and uh, I will take care of the baby. I'll take care of them. They will not be wanting for anything except to feel the sweetness of my fertilization uh, uh, in their eggs. I mean, that is the best sweetness you can have as a woman. So um, please, Mr. Prime Minister, I beg you. I never beg you for anything else. But make me your village ram. Make me your village ram, and I will make you proud. And I bless you, and God bless you. I bless Melissa. I bless Roosevelt Jr. I bless Melissa Jr. And may you be blessed, and may you have a great week. And call me. Please call me and email me, and let's set this thing up. We can get Dr. Ferrara, I don't know if he's a gynecologist, or somebody to, to take care of these women for us while they are in the phase of, of, of pregnancy and preparing to give birth. If not, I have my own experts that I can bring, and I'm telling you, this is going to be a great, a great, great experiment. And you don't need to listen to what people say. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's create these houses to breed, houses to breed, houses to cross and bring the young women and let me inseminate them. Oh, I tell you, I just, the energy that I feel, the, the energy that I feel, the compassion that I feel is overwhelming. I just cannot believe it that the day would come that my prime minister would ask us to do such a great thing. I bless you, sir. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Allah. I bless you in the name of Jehovah. I bless you in the name of Satan. I bless you in the name of, 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 of all of my ancestors and all of the gods, those you believe in and those you don't believe in. Amen. Until I hear from you and I see you, remember I am Peter the Cockman, the village ram. Peter the village ram. Hello, and um, I forgot to mention something. So I wanted to come back very quickly uh, to the Right Honorable Dr. Dr. Uh, Roosevelt Skerritt as your humble servant, and to tell you that it is me, it is me. I am the one, the one you've been looking for, the one you have called for, the village ram. I am Pope Peter Emmanuel in the persona of the village run, coming to do the work that is necessary to be done. <laughs> Excuse me. I had that good American beer. It's evening time. 
and I'm relaxing and thinking and visualizing of the future and of these breeding farms that we need to have in the Caribbean and in the United States of America. And I'm imagining of all the men who go and donate sperms for insemination and artificial insemination and to be sold. And here I am carrying this genius gene and this genius sperms. And I am seeing the need for my nation and my people here in the United States of America to grow our population the way Ayatollah Khomeini grew the Persian population in a, in a decade uh, so that he, Iran could become a stronger country. This is not just, this is not about sex. Uh, this is not about sex. This is about nation building. And I want all the heifers that we recruit to understand that this is for the nation and for the cause of Ham and for the rebuilding of the tribe of Ham. And as I long to be a father of a tribe and the leader of the tribe and the elder of the tribe and the shepherd of the tribe and to be the sire. And I will sire them here, there, and everywhere. And I'll be the great provider and the father of a tribe. And I'll be like Abraham unto them. That I can happen in this lifetime with your blessing. We don't need the approval of other people. We just need to be strong men of vision and go forward with what we know. As a leader, you know that you can do that. And I don't want to be too critical of you in other matters. We will defer these differences for another time. But in as much as we agree on one, this one subject, the subject of the breeding program to grow the population, and my desire to be like a, a, a village ram, like a sire, like a horse, a thoroughbred horse that has won the Kentucky Derby, and that is a stud, and is charging $100,000 to inseminate another horse, except in this case, I'm going to give away my sperms for free. Except that the heifers be worthy, because thou shalt not give that which is holy, and that is with pure. You will not cast before swine that which is holy, nor give unto the dogs. Is that how they say it? Cast not before swine that is holy, nor give unto the dogs something, something. You know, I don't always remember all my theology. But all I want to say to you that this is a precious, this is a precious anointing staff and giver and plower of life. And if we so wish that we should be men and leaders among our people and lead them throughout and back to and to regain the promised land, the inheritance, Dominica, all the way from South America to North America. We have to grow our numbers, and that much we agree on. And I offer my services, and I will find others as well who will come to serve in that capacity to make the nation strong. Get the message out to the heifers. Oh, and don't forget, to tell each person that everyone who, is, uh, uh, who bears a child for his holiness, that child will have the right to get a green card. That child will be the child of a citizen of the United States of America, and they will be entitled to come to the United States of America, and one day they can vote in the United States of America. And that's how we increase our power. Okay, the tolly was not made to be idle. The vagina and the womb was not made to grow old and grow dry. Okay? <clears throat> and those of you who are wasting your penises, wasting your vaginas, wasting your, 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 your whatever you have, I call upon you as a spiritual leader most of all. I'm not into politics, but Everything started with sex, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve. Remember, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve. So if we are speaking sex today, no one can point a finger at us because that which we speak of is of the Lord and is from God, is from the Quran, is from the Torah, is from the Bible. And thus, we must move forward with the breeding houses, 
We must move forward to grow our population. And I call you, and I call upon you to answer my reciprocal answer to your call for procreation and to tell you, let us build the breeding houses. We put one, two, three, four in Portsmouth. We put some in Roseau, some in Newtown, some in Point Michel, and we dedicate certain men to a certain number of women, and those men will be responsible, and they have to work too to look after those baby mamas. God bless the baby mama. God bless the mother of Jesus, Holy Mary, mother of God who pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death, and who shall forever remain an unwed mother, the mother of Christ, the mother of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>